And very pleased to be joined by the head coach of the Michigan Wolverines, the Big Ten East champs, Jim Harbaugh. Coach, congratulations. I want to ask you, when did you sense with this team that you had something special this year? I would say, I mean, way back, way back um, in early February, especially when uh, Aiden Hutchinson returned, you know, for his senior year. You know, he could have been a could have been a first round pick in last year's draft. But uh, he, he came in and said something to the strength coaches that was was really profound, which was, you know, coming back every time I step into this this weight room, I want you to get everything out of me you possibly can ring me out every every day, even 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 if there's a day I don't feel like it. I want to get my money's worth in here. And um, and our strength coaches were like, it's an all you can eat buffet. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, have at it. And. You know that was that was so con- that was so profound and big, but it was also really contagious. Uh, guys like David Ajabo, I mean, got in got in the hip pocket of Aiden, um, Cade McNamara, Mara, uh, same way, tip of the spear, in terms of how they were working in the off season, and uh, just guy after guy. Then we got into spring ball, and um, you know the first day of spring ball was it was electric, um, the energy, and I called him up after that practice and. Was like okay, we felt something there. That was that was that was different. Let's let's uh, let's let's copy that every day. You know, let's the old mimeograph, whatever it is. We're gonna we're gonna copy that and come back and do it again the next day. And and sure enough, they did for 15 practices. Uh, saw the same thing in in the off season program. You know, so many so many committed guys, you know, so many leaders on the team, and uh, got into training camp. And hey, remember back in spring ball? You know, the energy that we had. For 15 days, uh, you know, let's bottle that, let's uncork that, and let's let's come out and have uh, those kind of days. And we're just striving to have really good days, um, good days, good meetings, good practices. You know, get the energy up, and then go play the game. And that's, you know, that's uh, that's been the battle routine for our guys. Coach, your changes on your staff obviously have worked out really well. Yeah. Why why have they worked out so well? Yeah, there's uh, I mean, there's so many combinations to our team. I, I call them the new. Uh, the foundation, the committed guys, and the ones. The ones are those whom we wouldn't be here without them, without Aiden, without Hassan, without Andrew Vistardis, uh, without Stuber, Moody, Robbins. Um, you know, that, that, uh, that group of, of Ryan Hayes, Ronnie Bell. Uh, and then the new guys, uh, well, I mean, staff and new players. I mean, there's new players like Donovan Edwards, J.J. Right. McCarthy, Junior Colson, Rod Moore. Uh, and then the new staff that brought brought so much um, enthusiasm, energy, uh, perspective. Uh, and then the, the foundation guys. Um, I mean, the grittiest of the bunch. And that's the biggest majority of our team. Uh, uh, staff and players who were here last year. Some were here in 2019, 18, 17, 16. 15, uh, Cade McNamara, Dax Hill, a long list of guys. And then committed ones are the, the seniors, the ones who've been through it the most. Uh, some guys had injuries. Some guys had setbacks. Um, the common thing, theme to uh, whether they're new, the they're, they're ones, the committed, or the foundation guys, they produce. Uh, guys that... Um, yeah, they're new, but they produce. Mm-hmm. They're the foundation of the team, but they produce. They're committed, but they produce. They're the ones, but they have produced. Yeah, I, I thought one of the things that was, that was really impactful for you guys all year was the line of scrimmage on both sides, You know, particularly the offensive line. We know what's all happening over there on defense, but this offensive line played so well together, and I remember you being excited about them going back to media day. Talk yeah. about having a group like that, and what's that done for the psyche of the team and the mentality of the team? Well, it's been huge. Um, you know, it starts with Andrew Vistardis, our center. Uh, you know, a guy that has a really high level of talent, but he plays, and his production and his play is way above the uh, the talent. He makes everything go up front. Uh, two outstanding tackles, and in Stuber and Hayes. Um, and then uh, Zach Zinter, our right guard, is probably the most talented of all of them. And he's just a sophomore. He's been uh, he's been outstanding. Trevor Keegan is, I look at him, he's turned into one big muscle, uh, <laughs> the way he trains and and uh, and gets after it. I mean that and they've stayed healthy. 
you know, when you when you can have um, when you can have that, I think that's a credit to our our strength coaches and our uh, Ben Herbert and his staff uh, across the across the board. We're we're a real healthy team right now. So um, yeah, I would, I would say that you know just uh, they're good. Yeah. You know they got a they got an amazing um, connection with their coach Sharon Moore, who is a shining star of a coach and. Uh, Jesus. Yeah. He really, really is. The connection that they have with him and have with each other uh, is, is put it over the top. Coach, most impressive thing about the Iowa football team? Uh, interceptions. <laughs> uh, if you're saying the most impressive right. thing about the, the interceptions. The most I mean, impressive. Yeah, 22 interceptions. I mean, it's I've ne never seen anything like it. Uh, you know, we've been just talking about it. Uh, I mean, the leading causes of interception in America today are tip balls and overthrows. And uh, so you just, anytime there's a tip ball or there's an overthrow, I was going to get it. Uh, so really important for the quarterbacks to see lanes, see throws, um, elevate the arm, uh, linemen getting the hands down, because uh, all eyes when they're in when they're in zone, which they are most of the time, and they play man a lot, mm -hmm. but uh, not as much as they're in zone. And when they're in zone, I mean, every eye is in, is on the quarterback, so they see that tip ball, they see that that overthrow and and they're on it and they've uh, they've won games won games a lot of games that way kate i don't think gets the probably the respect he deserves yeah. uh around you've asked him to do a lot you've asked him to do a little but you asked him to stay inside of the framework yeah. of what the <laughs> offense is what does he need to do tomorrow just from the quarterback position to be able to get you guys in and out of the right plays and get the feel and the rhythm of the game for him uh, he's uh just just be who he is, uh, you know, the kind of player that he is. As I said earlier, I mean, he's he's been the tip, tip of the spear. I mean, he's he's a leader. He's so dialed in to uh, this game plan, like he is each and every week. But uh, you know, there's something about uh, maybe it's maybe it's just a Michigan thing. Maybe it's other places. But uh, you know, the quarterback always gets way too much blame. You know, if the team loses, right. and at most places they get way too much credit. If the team wins, you know, except here, you know, <laughs> you know uh, the, the team wins and, uh, you know, somehow they still still blame the quarterback for, for uh, you know, not throwing for 500 yeah. yards yeah. Or, or something. But, uh, yeah, he's he's so solid mentally and um, and uh, in on his game. And and the other great thing is uh, we got J.J. McCarthy. Uh, J.J. is always, uh, you know, he's always there every time we we, we seem to put him into a game. Uh, he'll he'll make a big play or 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 manage the game or lead us on a touchdown drive. Uh, so we're really really fortunate uh, you know, just uh, how well our quarterbacks have been playing. Coach, I talked to Aiden Hutchinson earlier this week and I asked him about how you prevent against a letdown after beating Ohio State and kind of vanquishing yeah. your rival there. Yeah, he talked a lot about the championship and the championship ring. It, what has your message been to these guys this week about preventing that, which there's a, there's a little bit of a human nature component there? Yeah, there's no doubt there is a there's a huge human nature component there. And, uh, you know, really, you know, everything had been geared, you know, for Ohio State. Everything is, uh, you know, we got to beat Ohio State and uh, we're going to attack it every single day. Uh, and they did that. And then, you know, you, yeah, you, you win that game against Ohio State and you say, hey, coach, you said Ohio State was the best team, you know, but, uh, you know, the way it turned out, it's Iowa. And, uh, you know, they're they're the next uh, on the schedule. Um, so there's there's a human nature nature part of that. But and I thought I was going to have to go in a lot deeper and further. But um, our team after the Ohio State game, it was pure joy, uh, you know, like picture Tiger Woods, you know, <laughs> fist bumping at, you know, pump after, uh, you know, he makes one of those big chip-ins, I mean, or, or wins one of those tournaments, uh, how he is. But, yeah, we also want to challenge the way he goes on to the next. Uh, you know, one tournament, then another, then another, then another, whether that's Tom Brady, whether that's Kobe. Uh, and in our team, I mean, it went from 24 hours later, next. So I didn't have to go uh, – didn't have to go any any right. deeper, any yeah. further. I could just I could just see it in their eyes and, and see it in their demeanor, and uh, and they know what they got to do. But uh, the energy's up, and it's it's time to go. Jim Harbaugh, really appreciate your time. Thanks so much for joining us, Coach. Thank you. Thanks, Coach. Yep.